Hey YouTube, you know Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Here's my Valentine's Day inspired makeup tutorial. If you like what you see, keep watching. So first we're gonna go in with the MAC Cosmetics Charge Water to wake up our skin. Then we're gonna start carving our brows. I use the MAC Brow Crayon in the color Spike, and I kinda just, you know, shape the brows. Now I'm just taking my ABH Dip Brow in the color Ebony. I'm gonna fill in my brows. Typically like my brows to be dark on the tail of my brows and lighter at the beginning. This gives it like an ombre effect. It makes it look really natural. So as you can see, I'm using the spoolie part of my brush, which I'm using a Stella brush, brow brush. And I'm just spooling up the product towards the beginning, the front end of my brows. And that's gonna give you like the ombre shape that I was talking about. Next, I'm going to go into my concealer. I use the MAC Cosmetics um, Studio Finish Concealer in the color NC45. I started at the middle of my brow just like that because when I started at the beginning, I kind of like altered the shape of my brow. So starting in the middle kind of helps you you know get the tail in right and then you know you can kind of shade the beginning part Sometimes you may have to go back into your pomade and, you know, fix up the top line of your brows to make sure that arch is correct. But once you do that, go back to, you know, carving those brows out with your concealer. After going back in with my brow crayon and dip brow, I then spoolie the product towards the beginning of my brow upwards so that it can have that ombre effect which gives you a natural brow look. Next I'm going to take the MAC Pro Long Wear Paint Pot in the color Laying Low and use that as my base for my eyeshadow all over my lid. You all know I had to whip out the ABH Modern Renaissance Palette. I'm using the color Burnt Orange for my transition. Next, I'm going deeper into the crease with the color Real Gar with that same MAC blending brush. It's MAC 224 brush. Now I'm taking the most perfect pink I ever had in any of my palettes, the color Love Letter, and I'm going to go deeper into my crease with just a simple e.l.f. blending brush. Then I'm going to carve out my halo using Cypress Ombre, a pretty brown. Right in the middle, I did pop Vermeer into my lid, however, I didn't record it. But I'm taking this MAC Cosmetics Loose Pigment. I'm going to leave the color um, 
in the bottom in the description box because I don't know it by heart. But I usually spray my brush with Fix Plus and pat the pigment right onto the middle of my lid, just like so. Now I'm going ahead with my Pro Long Wear Fluid Line in the color Black Track. I use gel liner. I love this liner. And I'm using my MAC Cosmetics. I think this brush is a 210 brush. I had it for a long time. It's the only way I can do a line on my eyelids. It's, it's the perfect brush. It, it, it's a cheat. <laughs> on these bad boys making sure I remove the tape and wiping off all the excess pigment underneath my eyes then I'm going in with this LA girl um, orange corrector and I'm gonna correct all the dark marks on my fizzes <laughs> I gotta go overboard with this but hey the more the merrier <laughs> I have really strong smile lines so I pop that um, paint pot right in my smile line and it helps my foundation stay it's like a primer if you will so I do that and I blend that on out with my finger <laughs> Now, the best part of it all, blending. I'm using the Real Techniques, um, I guess, sponge, blending sponge. Um, I've been using it for a while, but I don't know what's wrong. I was out of breath or something. You yeah, know, this is like a workout. <laughs> but ladies, please blend everything. Every liquid you put on your face, take your time and blend. You ain't got to beat your face like I'm beating mine, but you know, you know, these lips is luscious, so... It look like I'm beating a little hard, but it's all good. I'm going to go in with my favorite foundation right now is the Pro Long Wear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in the color NW45 and I kind of just take my concealer brush and just go crazy with some dots all over my face. <laughs> Bring my Real Technique sponge with Fix Plus. I'm gonna blend, ladies. Blend, blend, blend. concealer I'm actually using today is the select cover-up by MAC Cosmetic. It's in the color NC50. I place my concealer underneath my eyes, down my nose, and my forehead, leaving my cupid's bow and chin blank. Oh, well, I leave it alone because, you know, I already got a big chin. I don't need to draw no more light to it. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm using the NYC loose powder to set underneath my eyes, down my nose, my forehead. I'm gonna carve out, well I'm gonna set every place on my face, <laughs> but I'm gonna put extra product down my nose, chin, forehead. I'm gonna carve out my contour area. Now I'm gonna take that pretty brown called Cypress Umber in the Modern Renaissance palette and put that underneath my eye. Using any liquid eyeliner, I'm gonna put like kind of like ovals underneath my eye. Um, sorry, I'm out of <laughs> the camera uh, for this part, but I just put like dots, but they're really like really big because I have no lashes, and this makes my lashes look well, my bottom look, lashes look super dramatic. I love it, I love this technique. Now on my bottom lashes, I'm going in with the MAC False Lashes Maximizer. It's a primer, so it's going to make my lashes look super dramatic. Next, going in with the MAC Twisted Black Mascara and, you know, going over my primer. Then I'm going in with my Studio Fix powder and my um, 109 brush, and I'm going to, in a three shape, uh, set my contour area. Um, I do this, you know, just to add, bring back the color that the translucent powder might have took away, and the powder I'm using is in the color NW50. Going in with my mineralized powder. Oh my God, it's my favorite thing ever with the same brush. I'm going to brush away that loose powder. I'm gonna bring back some color to my face, that beautiful chocolate. The color I'm using is deep dark. <laughs> Now it's time to glow girl. Oh yes, this is my favorite part. I use the Milani Fantastic, uh, Fantastic in Gold uh, bronzer down my nose, the tip of my nose, and also on the cheeks. This is like the, my favorite drugstore highlighter. It's amazing, especially on women of color. Making sure I hit the top of my lip. And going back in with my Studio Fix powder and chiseling out this nose, snatched. Almost finished. We're going to wipe that nasty foundation off our lips. And we're going to line our lips using the MAC Cosmetics Night Moth. This is the perfect pencil to go with all your pinks, reds, purples, blues, almost anything. <laughs> the way I line my lips, though, because I have some juicy, luscious lips, 
I have to shade in a little bit more on the outside corners. Well, I guess I don't have to, but I prefer to do this. Um, yeah, it just makes my lips look even juicier. The lip I'm deciding to go with is the MAC Cosmetics Selena Collection in the color Dreaming of You. Yes, ladies. And here's the final look. Thank you all for viewing this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you later. Bye.